Certified most accurate. Now your first Warren 5 forecast. A good Wednesday afternoon. Meteorologist John Gross here with the first Warren 5 update. Definitely has been an active morning here in the Weather Center, and we continue with that as we're going into the, at least the early afternoon. Still holding on to an active severe thunderstorm warning. That's for Sanilac County. We'll hold on to that until about 1:15. But I think once we get past this storm, that's going to be pretty much it as far as severe weather goes. But there it is on the radar, affecting mainly the northeastern sections of the county anywhere near Port Sandalac just to the north there near Delaware. This is now just moving to the east of Argyle. So as that continues to make southeasterly progress eventually over Lake Huron later this afternoon, you can see pretty much the rest of mid Michigan not seeing too much. So there could be a few lingering showers as we go later into the afternoon, maybe the early evening. This is going to be the setup big cold front. Eventually we'll be moving through the region as we go later into tonight behind that. That's going to be ushering in some much cooler air and it's also going to be a little bit breezy as we get into especially the day tomorrow. So once we get past that storm near Sandalac County, I think maybe a few lingering showers here and there can't completely rule it out, but I think it's going to be a good mix of sun and clouds as we go throughout the rest of your Wednesday and that will hold steady even as we go later into tonight, early Thursday morning. Now as we go into the day on Thursday due to our northwesterly wind direction, it's not going to be on the question uh, for us to pick up on a few lake effect showers as we go throughout Thursday late morning. Morning and then again into the afternoon, not looking at an all day thing, but definitely still could have a few showers hit or miss there as we go into the second half of your Thursday. And it looks like skies begin to dry out and clear out as we go later Thursday night into Friday, but this is going to be a much cooler air mass as we're getting into Friday morning. Temperatures, those could be as cold as the 30s as we start off Friday. So here we go with the winds. We're talking about that as we go throughout the rest of your Wednesday. Northwest direction will hold as we go later into tonight and then again into Thursday morning and check out how high these wind gusts could possibly get as we get into Thursday afternoon 25 even upwards of near 30 miles per hour, not out of the question. And here's going to be the big temperature swing we're talking about. This is going to be one of the last warmer days I think we're going to have for quite a little while. We've got 80s looking good by the afternoon today. We're going to talk some 60s as we go later into this evening. And now that we go towards the bus stops and out the door for tomorrow morning, looks like we're only going to be talking about some 40s and 50s and not warming up too much as we go into the afternoon. Lucky to get near 60 and check that out as we go into your Friday morning. Could be talking talking about some of the first 30 degree days or at least mornings as we start off Friday. So not going to be out of the question. We'll have to watch it. Maybe could have a little bit of patchy frost there to start off Friday. There it is into the next seven fall right there. Officially starting 903 on Thursday. A few lingering showers and we roll with the 60s as we go past the weekend into next week. Stay with WNEM TV 5 on air on the go and online for more news and weather updates.